Hey, what's up? Today I'm heading west through Washington State. We're gonna head to the little town of Aberdeen, known famously as the birthplace of Kurt Cobain, his hometown. There is actually a, a memorial and some stuff there, so I'm gonna head that way and check it out. Cruising out west past these cooling towers that look quite reminiscent of The Simpsons. Not sure I've ever seen a power plant that looks just like that, in fact. Smithers! Okay, just arriving in Aberdeen. Stop number one is gonna be the memorial site. Right here on the Wishka River in Aberdeen. This is somebody's house right here on this corner. This whole street, in fact, so... I always try my best to obey the local norms, not step on too many toes. picture of Kurt right there. Now, if you look this up on Google, it does come up on Google Maps. Uh, it's known as the Kurt Cobain Under the Bridge Memorial. And there you see the bridge there, which is of some significance. Right behind this statue here of Kurt's appropriately left-handed guitar. Now, it has been reported that after dropping out of high school here in Aberdeen, Kurt had been thrown out of his mother's house. His parents were divorced, and had gone through bouts of homelessness where he actually slept under this bridge right here. He crashed on friends' couches and sometimes had nowhere to go and ended up sleeping right under here. This bridge runs across the Wishka River, you might have guessed from the sign, as well as the name of the famous album. The sign here goes into some detail explaining the Wishka River and its significance to Kurt Cobain. Even states that one-third of his ashes we're spread right here in this river. There is a little appropriate memorial here on the ground. It's a pretty bad glare. I'm gonna try to try to guess you can read it. Here it is, just a couple of blocks away from that bridge memorial. This is Kurt Cobain's boyhood home. This is where he would have lived long before the days of Nirvana. I did a little sleuthing online and found out that there are still quite a few personal touches from when he would have lived here. I guess there's still writing of his on his bedroom walls as well as in the garage. And all of that is still preserved, so hopefully they don't... Never plan on just building over it, turning into a normal house. Okay, on to the next stop. This is going to be Kurt's High School. This is the high school he attended, ultimately dropping out of shortly before graduation, although I believe he had determined he was not in position to graduate. Still pretty interesting to think. Young Kurt would have walked the hallways of this very building here in Bobcat country. Pretty day here in Aberdeen. Look at the bridge there over the Chehalis River. Stopped here to soak in the view a little bit before I leave town. Do actually have one more historic Nirvana site. And that site is going to be found here, city of Olympia capital of Washington State. Here in front of the Capitol building where a lot of the state and legislative buildings are found, most of which are pretty cool to check out. There is the head of old George there after which the state gets its name, naturally. Some of the grounds here are really impressive. Nicely manicured lawns, sorts of cool looking buildings and statues. There's a nice shot of both right there. And just beyond the Capitol building is the appropriately named Capitol Lake. 
which is certainly scenic when seen from the right angles, but is also unfortunately just completely overrun with homeless. I mean, it's like bad. Like even coming from Southern California, this is this is pretty shabby. They got to do some shit about this. Yeah, no exaggeration. I'd say this location kind of sums up the city of Olympia possibly better than about anywhere else. One side of me, beautiful lake, Capitol Lake, with a Capitol building. Lovely. On the other side is the other part of Olympia. And it's a shame, you know, you'd really like to see some aid provided to these poor folks, you know. I doubt they're living here in their own filth, voluntarily. All right, I promised one more historic Nirvana site. That's where we're at right now. What you're looking at is actually Kurt Cobain's apartment. We are still here in Olympia, near downtown. Over here on Pear Street is the building that Kurt lived in from 1989 to 1991. Those were some of the prime years in the man's career. And there are sources that say that he wrote some 75% of his entire musical repertoire in this building right here. This is where a lot of the key stuff happened with Nirvana. Him, Dave Grohl, Chris Novoselic, all would have been in this building, playing their instruments, writing music, and giving us stuff that we all still listen to today. I mean, you can't turn on a rock station without hearing Nirvana in the first, like, 10 songs. That's still true today. Since it's such a lovely day today, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little outdoor farmer's market here. Well, sort of outdoor, indoor. Pretty cool place. They actually do this every day of the week, looks like. Pretty standard thing. Plenty of parking. Definitely cool to not have to wait for a particular day of the week. And a lot of good fresh fruit, produce, a lot of good flower stands. It's all kinds of street food. I got it. Smells fantastic here. I'm definitely gonna have to sample something here pretty soon. Getting hungry. So there's a place here that sells clam chowder, among other seafoods. Definitely had the biggest line there, and I'm always a sucker for some good New England clam chowder. They did have the white, again the light there, the white kind and the red kind, the Manhattan. Not a fan, not a fan of the tomato base. But this looks and smells amazing. Oh yeah, and it is. Nice and rich, creamy. You can always trust the longest line in a place like this. Any farmer's market, I feel like it's generally a safe bet. There's gotta be a reason for it. Either it's a hell of a deal, or just some real tasty eats. Mm. A lot of cool stuff in there, though. I might go through and do one more lap. Yeah, so I was mistaken. It's actually Thursday through Sunday going to be the days for the farmer's market. So not quite an everyday thing, but pretty cool. Nice part of town, too. All this random street art everywhere. So figures place to check out. Got some pretty good clam chowder. Okay, of flowers so damn fresh there are still bugs in them. Okay, got to wrap up my list of historic Kurt Cobain sites. Appreciate you watching with me. Catch you next time.